Hey there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome back to TCM, where we're coming to the end of our week-long Star of the Month salute to Debbie Reynolds. Tonight, we're focusing on movies she made as her Hollywood career was starting to slow down. It's worth pointing out that slowing down for Debbie Reynolds was like working a 50- or 60-hour work week for ordinary human beings. She may not have been churning out multiple movies a year as she did throughout the 1950s and early 60s. She never stopped performing, though in movies, on television, and on stage, including a wildly popular nightclub act in Vegas. Up next, a comedy she made in 1967, co-starring another legendary talent, Dick Van Dyke, written and produced by the great Norman Lear, who died last year at 101. This is divorce, American style. Reynolds and Van Dyke, you know, feels like I should call them Debbie and Dick. They each crafted this friendly informality in their roles. So we'll do it now. Uh, Debbie and Dick uh, play a couple who've been married for better than 15 years, but their relationship appears to have run its course. They're driving each other crazy. Each wants a divorce. Making a comedy about divorce was a bold move in the mid-1960s, but Norman Lear, who earned an Oscar nomination for his original screenplay, never feared taking heavy subjects and mining them for moments that would make us all laugh. He did it brilliantly four years later with his landmark TV sitcom, All in the Family, the top-rated show in America for five consecutive years. Lear and his director, Bud Yorkin, made a bold choice when it came to casting the film, choosing Dick Van Dyke, America's favorite TV husband, and Debbie Reynolds, America's favorite girl next door, as the husband and wife who can't stand each other and want a divorce. From 1967, here are Debbie and Dick, with Gene Simmons, Jason Robards, Van Johnson, Lee Grant, and Eileen Brennan in her film debut, Divorce, American Style. The title, Divorce, American Style, may not resonate with young people today, but in 1967, everybody got the reference. It was a nod to several popular Italian films of the era that all used the phrase Italian style in their titles, including Divorce, Italian Style, and Marriage, Italian Style. Marcello Mastroianni starred in both of those films, in Marriage Italian Style, one of my favorite Italian films, Mastroianni stars with Sophia Loren, who earned an Oscar nomination for Best Actress. As for Debbie Reynolds, Divorce American Style turned out to be one of the last films she made before a two-decade hiatus from feature films in the 1970s and 80s. It was not a retirement, though. Far from it. She starred in her own TV show, scored a smash hit on Broadway, and became one of the most popular acts in Vegas. She returned to the big screen in the 1990s, with memorable roles in a number of movies. In Mother, written and directed by Albert Brooks, she played Brooks's mother. She was the title character. She was also Kevin Klein's mother in In and Out. Reynolds earned an Emmy nomination in 2000, playing Deborah Messing's mom on the groundbreaking sitcom Will and Grace. In 2013, she memorably played Liberace's mother in the excellent HBO film Behind the Candelabra, directed by Steven Soderbergh and starring Michael Douglas and Matt Damon. In 2015, Reynolds received the Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award. In the following year, the Academy recognized her lifelong work as a philanthropist with the honorary Jean Hersholt Humanitarian Award. Coming up, Debbie gives a surprising performance in a psychological thriller from 1971 co-starring Shelley Winters. What's the Matter with Helen is next on TCM. Next on TCM. What's the matter with Helen? Then the second time around. And later, how the West was won. Debbie's undefeated today.